to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Please, everybody, rise. We have a few minutes. I want to pray for you tonight. It's a miracle service. And it's going to be a very quick one because our time is gone. Please let them return back to their seat. Just be patient with them. So let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. One more time. Let hope. Let it rise. God has rambled in the light. One more time. Let it Let it rise. God has rambled in the light. Hallelujah. The Lord, by what he's going to be doing within the few minutes that we have, miracles and signs and wonders are a message from God to his people. Two messages, basically. Number one, every time you see a miracle, it's a revelation of the love of God to his people. He's telling you that I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. Number two, miracles are an attestation as to the fact that he is still Lord. I shared with you that there are four things that a man must have dominion over to be called Lord. Number one is the earth. Number two, the fullness, the resources. Number three, the mind control systems. And number four, the inhabitants. And the Bible says the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the walls and they that dwell therein. We're going to be praying for the sick. I'll be ministering to you. We'll do that very fast within the time that we have. Please let your heart be open. You didn't come to waste your time. And those in the overflows, I'd like you to open up your heart, knowing that the power of God will touch you where you are. And the Lord himself will bring you victory. Are you ready for tonight? Lord, give me a visitation. Please pray in one minute. Give me a visitation that will change my life. Give me a visitation that will change my life. Hallelujah. 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 Now, let me start by praying for people who have been oppressed. There are people here who have been oppressed of the devil. When Peter was preaching in the house of Cornelius, you don't have to come out, don't worry. I'll, I'll just give you the instructions on what to do the Bible says Peter was preaching and he said how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 with the Holy Ghost he said and with power and the Bible says he went about healing not all they who were sick you call it sickness he called it oppression and it tells you the oppressor the devil for God was with him there is nowhere I find the devil that I will leave him to go free. For oppressing lives and oppressing destinies. I want to pray for you now. 
and please as much as possible ushers now please listen whether you are an usher or not i want you to do well to just cooperate some of you are members the ushers may be limited but i want you to please help them anyone who is under the anointing close to you please do well and be your brother's keeper so that we minimize people enjoying themselves are we together the lord jesus appeared to me many years ago and he gave me an instruction and he told me that every city he would send me to and every nation and every territory the light that came from him to me that there must be someone in that meeting that that same light will come upon and i believe tonight please help them i believe that this light it brings healing it brings miracles i want to pray for you now there are people who have been oppressed of the devil please i want you to bring them out now these people i'm about to pray for at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus every oppression that is not of god every demonic orchestration of darkness that has sat on the destinies of people in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god as you shout it is tehillah the shout that brings down jericho i decree and declare at the mention of that name the one exalted as lord and christ let there be deliverance for you right now are you ready please bring them out one two three shout jesus i command every devil now let your destinies go bring them out every devil i command liberty freedom by the power that is in the name of jesus wherefore god has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name i decree and declare be delivered now orchestrations of ancestry activities of witchcraft connected to bloodline tonight we come by the rod of the higher priesthood be delivered in the name of jesus bring them out i've caused every devil we're still praying hey my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by now the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing families there are whole families that have been under bondage i want to pray now there's fire coming from kapaka to katea bring them out in the name of jesus every family here under the sound of my voice that has been under any demonic siege at the count of three let there be liberty one two three be delivered now be delivered now Bring them out. Help them, please. Ena barakosh kata branda kata kada kata. Shakros kati barus dasi ena kata. Empre kete kete bala. Let an end come in the name of Jesus. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good. hallelujah we are praying who is Ebenezer our time is up I have to pray for the sick but I'm hearing a name Ebenezer who is Ebenezer Ebenezer you are wearing like a blue like a check shirt is that Ebenezer is there someone like that what's please verify Ebenezer. don't match the people Ebenezer. where are you coming from I'm coming from this side. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from? I mean your state. Ekiti state. Ekiti state. Yes. I want to pray for you. That everything that is connected to witchcraft, I stretch my hands, be delivered now. 
in the name of Jesus the Christ I bring you life that lady this one you on red lifting your hands shout Jesus as loud as you can oppression goes forever over your life sir is this your wife I'm seeing the Lord take something out of her body this is what I'm seeing I'm seeing something leaving her body that the devil has planted to destroy her in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God I command that devil I call you by name in the name of Jesus the Bible says whosoever the Son sets free is free indeed therefore we cause every devil madam I'm here to pray for the sick but I stretch my hands right now let there be a miracle for you in the presence of your husband don't worry she doesn't have to come to the front in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now is it Amarachi is there something like that Amarachi who is that Amarachi I'm hearing a name Amarachi the woman I'm seeing is not very tall you bob your hair you bob your hair Amarachi is there someone like that what is your name Oh, your lifting has come. Oh, your lifting has come. Look at me, my dear. Where are you coming from? Ababa. Ababa. Where is that? What state is that? Okay, here. Yeah. I want to pray for you and your family. Huh? You are the father. Baba, come. The Lord is visiting this family. You see why it's good to invite people to church? Because God can just save a whole nation. This is not about a man of God being powerful. I'm seeing one more person. You are three. Who is that? I'm seeing one more person connected to this family. In the name of Jesus. Huh? I read the Christopher. Where? I read the Christopher. I invited him. The song we I don't know where he is. Because I'm seeing three people, not two. Where is the third person? What's the name? I read the Christopher. If, if it's not here because of time, we just have to pray so that we'll redeem the time. Sir, can I pray for you? You love Jesus? Very much. This is you see the beauty of coming to church. I was glad when they said unto me. God. The house of God is not a nuisance to civilization. We are a blessing. I pray for you right now. You and your daughter and all who are connected to you, sir. I pray for you. Four years, you are yet to have a child. This is what I'm saying. Four years. Who is that person? Please make sure you are married. Four years. husband and wife you are both in the choir husband and wife place your hand God is going to give you a baby boy help her out now I release you in the name of Jesus Christ celebrate your miracle the hand of God marvelous hand of God You two, how many years? Four years. Is your husband here? No, he's not here, sir. Four years. You're trusting God. You believe in miracles? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. What's your name? Inedu. Who is the head of this choir? Are you the head of the choir like the like the coordinator this because this is what i'm seeing on her because the lord is speaking to me and saying he's taking away the shame of the coordinator and i'm saying 
because she's not dressed like i'm not seeing her dress in the same uniform like them my dear in the name of jesus we come by the god of heaven and we declare let your womb be open now let it be open now in the name of jesus christ this woman is out to, for the same reason i'll pray for you please don't come out at random if you make this let's let's just don't worry god is going to visit you are we together now god is going to visit you the power of god is coming on someone at the ministers just one person i just saw light the lord is shifting you into a new season that's what the lord is telling me he's shifting you into a new season i pray for you all of you who are here for the sake of time we have to rush in the name of jesus christ There is a businessman here that God wants to restore. You have lost a lot of money this year. I have to pray for you. I don't mean somebody who is starting. Don't worry. I know most, this is a business place. We are talking about the East here. So I'm sure everybody will come out if I've said, don't just settle down there. There is a specific person that the Lord is revealing to me. I don't know what you do. Is it, is it something that has to do with construction? I'm seeing that you've lost a lot of money. If there is someone like that i want to pray for you while i quickly pray for them father everyone who is womb in the name of jesus like eli madam this woman lifting her hands i'm seeing oil coming on your head this is what i'm seeing the lord is revealing this to me right now i stretch my hands and i declare in the name of jesus let everything that represents oppression in your life and your family let it come to an end right now in the name of jesus christ let it come to an end right now there is someone holding photos you came here with photos pictures of your family members please if there's someone like that please verify so that it doesn't look like well if, if it's not i'm not saying if you have photos in your bag you are holding photos let me pray for you it's just the instruction that the lord is giving to me for everyone here trusting god for the fruit of the womb i declare a miracle for you right now in jesus name i pray and sir i pray for you and your daughter and this hold on is he your son or your brother my brother same father same mother younger brother younger brother who is christopher Christopher. What's your name? Christopher Arage. From where? From, I'm from Amechala, Elugezike. Amechala, Elugezike. I'm, I'm going to pray for you because uh, please don't feel I'm not a prophet of doom. God will save you. But I'm looking at this man and I'm seeing him inside a coffin. I'm not, that's why I said, don't be afraid. This is where ministers of life, I'm just revealing to you. You see the power of scripture because it is written is greater than I saw. no matter what it is that you see dominion is the ability to submit what you saw to it is written this is how ministers of the gospel the administration of the prophetic must be done with respect to the authority of scripture that means regardless what you see if it's inconsistent with what is written that becomes your assignment to make what you saw or what you heard turn and become what is written that's what it means to bring every thought to the obedience of Christ. This is how prophecy edifies the body. When prophecy submits to it is written, it now begins to edify. Otherwise, it will plant fear. If I leave this man right now, I have not blessed him. I will not only plant fear, I will plant fear to his family members who are watching. But dominion is the ability to bring any other thing, including what you saw. To the obedience of christ i'm saying this because the lord is also helping to train people in administering the gifts of the spirit so that we don't end up planting fear and a conference like this is done and people are worse than they were before it started no the character of the operation of scripture is that it must take away fear because god is love and perfect love 
cast out fear. In the name of Jesus, sir. No, I'm, I'm, don't worry. I lay my hands upon you as a point of contact. Who is this one? Your wife? Who is this lady? Okay. Don't worry, sir. Wherever they are, as you are standing here, by faith, we agree for this family. Let there be transformation right now. Inside the name of Jesus, I declare that anything that is inconsistent with the character of the Christ in your life, we declare that it comes to an end now. For all of you who have photos, I lay my hands on those photos prophetically. And in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, let there be miracles for you. Let there be miracles for you. In Jesus name. Please return to your seat. I want to pray for the sick now very quickly. Please return to your seat so that we'll have space. Just believe that it is done. I believe in miracles. I'm a miracle myself. We make miracle walk from misty light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. We call you a way make miracle walk. I want to pray for the sick but the lord is giving me an instruction i'll pray for the sick please i want to be your brother's keeper over this prayer i want to pray and i will tell you why every meeting i go to god gives me this instruction please whether you are an usher or not i want you to just help the people there is a grace for speed that can come upon an individual that can come upon ministries the Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran on barefoot. He overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Israel. Truly, God can compress time. Dominion over time is real dominion. Speed is a system of advantage given by God to man to help us actualize destiny. I want to pray. The reason why I'm saying you should help people is because people will start running. I want you to just hold them bring them out here quickly we're going to do this very fast i apologize for the time sir sincerely hallelujah are you ready father in the name of oh, my goodness my god look i'm just seeing fire rest on people right now i declare at the count of three may this grace was be help them please help them please help them please help them please i decree and declare every delay over anyone's life I come by the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three receive speed one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace take that grace inside outside the overflows take that grace speed in ministry speed in business speed in your accomplishment I take ten years and I put it in one year. I take one year and I put it in one year. Ten years in one year. One year in one month. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare over families here. Receive speed in Jesus name. Speed in Jesus name. Speed in Jesus name. Speed in Jesus' name. Speed in Jesus' name. Speed in Jesus' name. I have seen fire fall on the choir. This is what I'm just seeing. Take that fire. Right now, help them please. Take that fire. Take that fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Speed is coming upon your life. Speed is coming upon your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone held by any chain of delay in the name that is above all names. I'm praying again for individuals and for families. I break that chain. 
Kratos, Pepetes Cotopocos Catabata, Crates Ketepecate, Embrecates Ketepacatos. Let that chain of delay be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Hear me. When the glory of God came upon Aaron's rod, in one night without a root, it bordered. One night without a root. Everything that has refused to walk in your life, we stand under the corporate anointing here. And in the name of Jesus, is the master we have toiled all night. Nevertheless, I speak to you, go back and expel. Go back and expel. Go back and expel. Go back and expel. Please lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing right now. I want you to believe in the healing power of Jesus. For all of you who have come out here, I declare that this grace you have contacted, let it begin to speak immediately. 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 Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. Jennifer. I'm hearing a name Jennifer. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is rolling reproach from your family. He's rolling away reproach right now. Rolling away reproach right now. In the name of Jesus. He said, I wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll. And the elder tapped me and said, weep not for the lion of the tribe of Judah. Even the root of David is worthy. hallelujah let this be the beginning of seasons of speedy achievements please lay your hands wherever you are trusting God for a miracle I want to pray for the sick now sir this is our father I, I presume you look like an Indian family am I right on that I want to pray for you the Lord wants to take away sickness I'm looking at a thermometer go up and down this has to do with high blood pressure I want to pray for you you believe in miracles sir can I pray for you you can just stay there no problem you don't have to come out I'll pray for you I just just to let you know that God is bringing a visitation God is bringing a visitation please lay your hands where you are trusting God for healing you can stand in for someone to those of you who are in front here please go back to your seat rejoicing anyone please go back to your seat rejoicing anyone here who if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest please do that all the overflows just lay your hands where you are trusting god for a miracle right now i believe in miracles i truly do I believe in the manifestation of God's power. Help her, please. Some of you are already healed. Right from when you were coming. Overflows, lay your hands everywhere. I want to pray for you. Now, listen. For the sake of time, I do not want and I do not intend to stretch us beyond time. But very quickly, for the sake of time, this is what I want us to do. As soon as I pray for you, some of you checking yourself from the time you came out here, there are all kinds of miracles that have happened. But very quickly, as soon as I pray for you, the power of God is going to touch you. You will be healed. I want the moment you confirm your miracle, I want you to quickly run and stand here. Please, if we can have one or two pastors here to just help us on that. We'll do it very fast. Take a few of the testimonies. We'll do the final impartation and we're done for the night. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. After a loud shout, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. Not your shout. There is someone under the power of the Holy Spirit right now who will shout loud to the hearing of everybody. 
honestly sometimes I don't know why God does that now I'm ready to pray for you in the name of Jesus lay your hands agree with me in prayer in the name of Jesus Christ in the in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I take authority over every devil of darkness the spirit behind disease sickness and infirmity I declare let God's people go free now everywhere following wherever you are I declare unto you be healed right now be healed right now every bone condition be healed right now if you're here and you're on a wheelchair or you're using crutches or on a stretcher lift it up and stand up now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ every blind eyes I command be open now every blind eyes be open now every deaf ear be open now every blood infection every blood in apakatoskata I'm seeing God healing people of hepatitis B be, be healed right now be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone with a condition um, let it not embarrass you you go to toilets but you cannot use the toilet this is not just pile this is a situation I don't know what medical condition that is but it's difficult for you you, you can't even use the toilet right now the power of God is coming upon you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone with severe pain around your back in fact many people not just one person the power of God is touching you right now someone's left eye you didn't used to see well with your left eye but I pray for you right now clarity of vision right now there's someone even though I've prayed for people with bone condition but you can't even lift your hands freely like this I don't know what the problem is I rebuke that devil peptic ulcer be healed now just have those under the anointing migraines be healed now every stomach ulcers and all kinds of ulcers be healed right now help her help her help her be healed right now out of her now out of her in the name of jesus christ hear me anyone with any growth in any part of your body whether growth around your breast area your abdominal area every growth in your body i command that growth to disappear now there's someone here i don't know what was diagnosed in your head like inside not not on your head inside i, I don't know if it's a whatever medical condition but in the name of jesus right now i declare unto you be healed now be healed now lower abdominal pain severe pain help them lower abdominal pain the lord is healing you right now my god there are all kinds of miracles i'm looking at someone your uncle just here there is a severe pain there as soon as I've, i'm done praying check yourself now you will find out that pain is gone the lord is showing me someone you have a problem with your throat you know how when you swallow something and it doesn't go you keep feeling like there's something on your throat help her please this is how someone has been feeling but right now after this prayer at the instance of this prayer that devil lets you go forever now for the sake of time whether or not i mention your case
be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name all the overflows be healed in Jesus name across the nations of the earth be healed in Jesus name there are already people coming out now please we have five minutes for this I want you to check yourself while we are rejoicing hallelujah you are going to give us one hot Igbo praise let the devil know that Jesus is moving in the east while that is happening I like you to come out please check yourself the moment you find out there's a miracle come out miracles are happening here are you celebrating miracles please check yourself and make your way to the front choir can you help us in one minute two or three minutes just give us a song of praise as we celebrate the magnificent hand of God go ahead please very quickly keep coming check yourself and make your way to the front those in the overflows if they are coming for testimony please allow them Usher's protocol allow them to come very very quickly please check them let there be a group of people who will check them and confirm keep coming God bless you keep coming keep coming miracles are happening in this place Jesus here yeah. praise the Lord please be seated for a few minutes yes please very quickly are you ready very quickly your name and what God has done very quickly yes please go ahead praise the Lord I'm Polakia Osakuni okay okay so straight to the point yes. what happened to you if anything you said that we should lay our hands on the place that's spirit as we need healing. Yes. I laid my hands on my head because I've been having this, I don't know, is it migraine headache? It's so I and couldn't What happened Jesus. now? And immediately I Completely. just said, he just said I'm it's gone. I said, I'm so happy. Praise the Lord. I've never seen this kind of instant miracle in my Hallelujah. life. Like I even had like eyesight. I, I couldn't see I, I wouldn't see what's written on the glasses, you know. So I'm trying to see like I'm seeing You can see clearly now. Are you giving Jesus praise? Praise the Lord! In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Celebrate Jesus very quickly. Praise the Lord. I'm Reverend Prince Alice. For more than 10 years now, I've been having this pain on my left shoulder that I can't even do anything. You're a man of God. Yes, sir. But now, lift it up. Let the devil it. see you lift it up. I can't feel it anymore. I can't feel it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Lord will bless you to never return. And may your ministry step into a new season in jesus name god bless you very quickly yes please praise the lord i'm orifra christiana and i had lower back pain for some months now but now i feel so good completely I'm bend down now. check yourself any pain any pain completely 
in the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, please. Go ahead, sir. Praise the Lord. Apostle, I'm good evening, sir. I'm the businessman you mentioned who has, been, who has had serious losses. Secondly, I have my left eye. I have received serious healing on my left eye and serious abdominal pain just left. What happened to you now? Free. It's gone completely. completely sir. In the name of Jesus, I declare restoration for your business, whatever the issue is. We come as the parliament of heaven and in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare an end comes now. In Jesus' name. Yes, please, very Sir, quickly. When you mention the ankle problem, this is... That's right, this man knows how to do this thing. God bless you. Yes, go ahead, Pastor. Hallelujah. Sir, you made mention of the ankle. Um, I had an ankle dislocation. I couldn't even train. Ankle dislocation. Right now, For how long? No more. For some weeks right now. I couldn't Check yourself. Train. Jump. Any pain. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare you are free right now. Yes, sir. No, no, no. Yes. My name is Pastor John Tumobi. I have this terrible back pain. He has been there for many years, uh, for, for a long time now. Every time I wake up to pray in the morning, I can't, I can't, every time, even when I go for programs, yes. I'll be stretched. But this night is gone and I'm here. In the name of Jesus. Look what God, you are, oh, you are the man who was standing here. Oh, okay. I thought you were the one who was standing here. In the name of Jesus, Pastor, I declare over you and over your ministry. Look at me, sir. You have a church? Can I pray for you? There, you that's your wife. Don't worry, you don't have to come. If God touches him, he will show that you both of you are one. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the power of the Lord come upon you and your ministry. I release grace for the next season. In the name of Jesus, receive that anointing. The same way God healed you here. I pray for you. I'm seeing fire come on your hands, sir. In the name of Jesus, let it be a new season for you. Madam, as he's touching you, is touching your husband and both of you will begin to operate in this grace god bless you sir congratulations yes sir oh this is our daddy sorry sir this man had been feeling headache all day because of high blood pressure as you have high as, blood pressure yes, yes as soon as you mentioned the high blood case he laid his hands on his head and the, the baba that came here yes i did not take medicine because of because i was bringing my daughter here so while i was here my headache was my head was telling me that you did not take medicine today and so it is going to continue yes all right. i said it is the word of god that will heal it that's right so when you said we should place our hands there immediately i placed my hand there i am free in the name of jesus it will never return never return to you again in jesus name i pray yes please very quickly young man with the throat problem you mentioned throat condition yes how long what's your name um Toby Wazo, I uh -huh. spent most of yesterday in the hospital. My throat, I couldn't swallow, like I couldn't even eat. But when you were when you were when you mentioned it in the video, like, I'm can, I can talk now. I was whispering in the morning. But suddenly now I can talk. Praise the Lord. What will you eat this night now? What is what kind of food will let the devil know that you are well? May God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. The next person, very quickly. No, don't give him the mic. If you give them mic, they will not. Just, just hold it for them, sir. Yes. Sir, I play, I play football frequently, sir. You're a footballer? Yes, I play football frequently, sir. For? I play football frequently. Okay. So, I have this pain on my left knee. A knee pain? Yes, sir. For how long? Since this year, sir, actually. Okay. And right now, when check you yourself. I'm free, sir. Check yourself. I'm free, sir. Check. You play for who? You professionally? No, no, no. Just oh, you just play football. Oh, I thought it's professionally. I would have prayed for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. No. May the Lord bless you. Whatever you are doing professionally, may God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Yes, sir. This woman has had what doctor called clavical spongylosis. Come she again. couldn't raise her arm for two years. And you couldn't raise your hand. For two raise years. it now. Look at this. Let us speak. Watch this. I can hardly sleep on this side. Each time I sleep, I wake up with pain. And right now? I can't feel the pain. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, it will never return to you again. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Very quickly. Very quickly. Very quickly. He have, he's had pain for uh, around his uh, private region for over two years. My God. 
Immediately she, he came in and he started praying. It disappeared. A I miracle can't feel for you now. Anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ, this healing remains permanent, my dear brother. In Jesus' name, I pray. Now, for the sake of time, there's, there's a long queue here. What, we'll, we'll just take two or three, three, and then we'll just pray tomorrow during Reverend George's session. You can share it. The most important thing is that God visited the people. It doesn't matter how or through who it happened, we give him all the glory. Yes, please. This young lad said he's had stomach pain for three days now. But this when boy. you are praying, the stomach pain disappears. You know I love children. What's your name? Kesta, where is it? Where is the Kesta? How old are you? Eight. Eight. Nine. May God make you such a smart child. You will never do anything twice to succeed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you. You are healed. You remain healed forever. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. He said his heart and his eyes has been paining him for over for a long time now. And How long? My, I don't know. As it, it has been long, but I had a headache this as I was coming, but it disappeared as you were praying. Completely. Completely. It's gone. May the Lord bless you. This mm -hmm. tall gentleman, are you a footballer? Yes, he looks like. Because I was laying my head there, but as soon as she mentioned it, it disappeared. Oh, come check yeah. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Yes, let's just. He has sold me a myriad of things. You are born in to share a testimony. <laughs> um, at time, yes, go ahead. He has told me a myriad of things. Okay. From stomach ulcers to everything. But the one that is striking is that his vision, one of the eyes could not see properly. But he said, one, saw better than the other. one was seeing better and now, than the other. But right now, completely. He says he has 20 20 vision. You can see everything here. This one saw better than the other, but I, I could notice for as long as I can remember. When yes. I'm just all, all alone, I could just close this and I noticed that this one saw better than this. Well, it wasn't really a problem for me, but now I can see 20 In the name of Jesus, perfection for you. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Um, I'm Kosi, and I've had this pain on my ankle for as long as I can remember. Pain on your ankle again? Yeah, this one. Yes. I don't know when it started. I just know I can't stop. And right now, what happened to you? When you said, um, when at the end of the prayer, that everything is going to be fine. But during the prayer, I was still feeling the pain. And I felt, ah, are you sure? And right now, right now, what happened to you? Like, Check yourself. <laughs> it's gone completely. Like, she will never return to you again. This, this gentleman, okay. My name is Humble. The last time you come to Opera Square, I was my, with my medical report. I lay it down here. Since 2008, I was having chest pain. I have go to a different lab. Or they will tell me that my ring. What happened now? What happened now? Now I can turn to the Lord. Oh, the In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you. Now, for all of you, whether you have come out to testify or not, we give Jesus the glory for all that has happened and we declare that these miracles remain permanent in your life in jesus name and for those of you who receive miracles online you can do well to let the church know that you have been touched by the power of god please rise up let's do the final impartation so we can wrap up the meeting for tonight hallelujah have you been blessed tonight please do not forget the teaching that you heard tonight in addition to the powerful sessions that you'll be having tomorrow and then on sunday make sure that your heart is open the conference is not over there's tomorrow session in the morning and then on sunday powerful sessions with the spirit of god i want to pray and declare over your life an impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities it is possible for you to receive a grace you did not come to this meeting with that is the essence of conferences like this that you hear the word but then you are empowered by the spirit ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2 verse 2 says and the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet the holy spirit comes to confirm the word i stretch my hands and i decree and declare over everyone under the sound of my voice the grace that you will need to demonstrate the reality of the fact that god lives in you i release that grace upon you now i release that grace upon you now hear me everywhere you have been inefficient i decree and declare the grace that makes for excellence there is such a grace 
may that grace rest upon you now every closed door that has refused to open over your life and your destiny i join my faith with all the servants of god here and we declare may that door be open now may that door be open now please hear me where you have failed again and again and again we release grace upon you because today you have become the act of god in experience may your results show that you carry divine presence let me pray for your family members who are not here you see in this kingdom the law is as for me and my house if you are blessed alone you are not blessed it has to extend to you it says for this promise is unto you and to your children to your children's children as many as are afar off even those that the lord will call i pray for you if there is anyone connected to you who is going through any season that requires the administration of god's power in the name of jesus we bring those negative seasons to an end now some of you have lost time some of you have lost things i decree and declare let there be supernatural restoration if there is anyone here that is trusting god for a job or trusting god for some sort of establishment structural establishment in the name that is above all names i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead be established now i want to declare advancement over your life the bible says it was the lord that caused Moses and Aaron to advance it is God that causes men to advance men do not just move I pray for you where you have you have encompassed this mountain long enough therefore I prophesy go higher I prophesy go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward please hear me i speak to you in the name of jesus like it happened to the philistines anybody who troubles you goes down instantly please believe it we're wrapping up can i pray for you if there is anyone holding what is yours tonight in this place we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn until it enters your hand in the name of jesus christ anyone here and any family here marked for death that you will not see the end of december in the name of jesus we cause the spirit of death over your life i prophesy over your life whether you are flying in the air whether you are going on road whether it's by the sea be divinely protected in the name of jesus Can I pray for your prayer life as I round up? Whatever has destroyed your passion for God, your passion for the ministry of prayer, in the name of Jesus, this night, we set your prayer life on fire again. We set your prayer life on fire again. The grace to pray, the grace to be consistent, the discipline to travail, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your word study life whatever has destroyed your passion for the word in the name of Jesus let there be restoration this night hear me I want to destroy wrong associations from your life as we round up just help those under the anointing 
Jonah entered a boat and made people to lose so many things he didn't talk associations have prophetic implications dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and legata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.